brand new trailer for the upcoming remake, Point Break, has just hit the web. In Point Break, a young FBI agent, Johnny Utah, played by Luke Bracey, infiltrates a cunning team of thrill-seeking elite athletes, led by the charismatic Bodhi, played by Edgar Ramirez. The athletes are suspected of carrying out a spate of crimes in extremely unusual ways. Deep undercover and with his life in imminent danger, Utah strives to prove that they are the architects of this string of inconceivable crimes. Point Break hits theaters on December 25th. Mark, do you buy or sell this newest trailer for Point Break? Oh, I am. Uh, I'm gonna risk something here. Okay. I'm gonna buy this trailer really? for Point Break. I'm buying the trailer, yes, because as Point Break, I'm very, very nervous. I love the original Point Break. It's an Oscar-winning film. Should have. <laughs> I. I'm such a huge fan of the original movie. This does not look like it's going to be that good. It doesn't even look like it's going to be that story. For what this movie is, the ambition that it has, I don't think it's going to reach all that potential because it's painting itself to be almost like you're pulling for the bank robbers. You're rooting right. for the guys because they're positioning themselves as Robin Hoods, who they do these crazy stunts during the day. They have this goal of doing these eight incredible missions all over the world and then robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. So when Luke Bracey characters as an FBI agent goes undercover, he's like, okay, wait, am I with these guys still or am I still with the FBI? I don't know that the movie's going to be smart enough or convincing enough to let us know, oh, no, he decided to go with that or he decided to do this maneuver. Like, it seems like it's biting off more than they can chew. Having said all that, the trailer itself, did it look more like a triple X movie or a Fast and Furious than Point Break? Sure it did. I buy the trailer for the movie, not the name brand associated with it, but for the movie, I'm going to be eating popcorn and watching. I think this could be a fun action ride. I, um... For the first of all, the first point blank, point blank, uh, point break, <laughs> totally different movie. Point break trailer was so awful, right? It was so abysmal. I buy this one, I like this trailer. I, I do. I thought it was a really good trailer, and as a matter of fact, I thought this trailer paid a lot more homage to the original than certainly that first trailer did. When you think about it, Bodhi is, when you think about the Patrick Swayze Bodhi in the first one, he's on a spiritual quest. To him, it's not just about Robin Banks. It's this it, a spiritual quest to reach some kind of height, heightened sense of enlightenment or whatever, you know, all that kind of stuff. But when they come into this and they're doing it a different way, they're not just Robin Banks. These are guys trying to pull off eight specific crimes to follow in the footsteps of some like kind of spiritual eight feats that they have to do. There's a deeper spiritual meaning connected to it, and that actually, to me, rang really true of the Patrick Swayze Bodhi in the original film. I thought this one, I'm still not buying into the dude playing Utah, but I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now until I see the film. But over, and I still really wanted Gary Busey to pop up in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> but I, watching this, I felt like this feels like it's going to be intense. It feels like it's going to have some great action. It feels like it's going to have some terrific cinematography. And it feels kind of, while it's going in its own direction, it's paying homage to the original, I feel, in the right way. Look, this movie may totally suck, but I got to tell you, this trailer is a complete 360 or 180, whichever the right one is, 180. It's a complete <laughs> 180 for me from that original trailer, so I have to give it a buy. I mean, Luke Bracey, though, I didn't have any problem with him in the trailer because if you're trying to top Keanu Reeves in 1991 at acting... It ain't that hard to do. <laughs> now, Patrick Swayze is Bodie, on the other hand. That's what concerns me is Edgar Ramirez playing Bodie. Edgar Ramirez is a great actor. I like him a lot. But Patrick Swayze's Bodie was a cult figure onto himself. Yes. However, you always knew he was the bad guy. Even though you may, you wanted to aspire to be like Bodie and be well-liked and all that stuff, you knew he was a villain. Are they going to paint this Bodie as a villain? Is he going to shoot people when he's robbing banks? Or are they just going to be actual guys that you're rooting for to pull off these missions? Like, are we going to be rooting against the FBI by the end of this? This film i'm curious about it i don't know that the movie can pull off its ambition but uh, yeah you got my ticket